Hello, this is Rhino. Thank you for joining me on my how to crochet channel today. So I decided to make another flower doily and uh, looking for ideas, I found this pretty pattern on in an old magazine. And to me, these flowers reminded of uh, lilies. So that's what I'm calling it. And um, Aunt Lydia has this pretty purple crochet thread. It's size 10 and I found it perfect for this one. And my doily measures, it's about 17 inches in diameter. So this one is quite big and I also made a video tutorial about how to block the doily. So look out for it uh, on my next video and um, I will show my tricks and tips how to do this one. It's a bit challenging one but um, you can do this. So let's see how we can crochet this pretty lily doily. And I'm using Aunt Lydia's crochet thread, size 10 for this doily. And this thread color is called Wood Violet. I just really like this beautiful purple shade. And our crochet hook is size 1.5 millimeters. And uh, let's get started. And as always, we start with a slip knot. And um, chain 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and join it into a ring with a slip stitch into the first chain. And our first round starts with uh, three chains and this counts as one double crochet. And next we're gonna double crochet into the ring. And now uh, chain one. Next, to three double crochets into the ring. Two, three, and again, chain one. Again, three double crochets into the ring, and chain one. So keep doing this. We need eight of these three double crochet parts in this ring. And because we started this round with three chains, one double crochet, and then one chain, we need to double crochet one more for that first three double crochet part here. So end this with the last double crochet and then slip stitch into the third chain of beginning. So here, this is our first three double crochet cluster here. Three, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eight. And we can now continue with the second round. We start with, uh, again, three chains, counts as one double crochet. And we now need to double crochet twice into that next double crochet stitch. So two, two double crochets in the same stitch. And then chain two. And now continue, um, again, double crochet twice in the next double crochet. 
then once into that middle of the three crochet parts again twice into the third one and chain two so you'll see the pattern goes like this you have to double crochet twice into the first one once into the middle one and again twice into the third one so you have five double crochets and two chains between each of these parts and again because we started this round in the middle of the double crochet parts uh, so we have three here for the first one we have to finish it with uh, two more so double crochet twice into this last stitch here so we now have total of five for this first part uh, our round three again starts with three chains then double crochet into the next double crochet this one here one time and now double crochet twice into the next one and two now skip the chains and double crochet into that next twice one two double crochet one time into the next and one time into the next this is our first petal with eight double crochet stitches between each petal we chain three two three and our next petal starts in that same stitch that we did the last double crochet so find that same one here and double crochet in it once double crochet once in the next and now double crochet twice in the next one two in here then skip these two chains and double crochet twice into the next then double crochet once into the next and once into the next here that's our second petal eight double crochets and chain three one two three keep doing this all around for eight petals in, uh, the next petal again starts in that same stitch here and I want to show you the ending of this round so here's my last petal I have seven and then the last one is gonna be in that first stitch because the first and last double crochet share a stitch and three chains and slip stitch into the third beginning chain and around and not to worry about the waving this is a um, pattern that um, will work itself out and flatten as we go along so this is normal and round four Again, starts with three chains uh, then double crochet once into the next and also once in each next four one two three and four and last two we need to double crochet two together so for that we start the first one pull thread through and keep the loops on hook start the second one pull thread through keep the loops on hook and now pull through all these remaining three loops at once this is our two double crochets together 
now chain one and do a V stitch into the chain three space here. So double crochet one, chain two, double crochet one in the same space and chain one. Next petal, we start with two double crochets together. So start the first one, start the second one and pull through three loops at once. Double crochet four, one in each next stitch, three and four, and last two, two together. Start the first one, start the second, and pull through three loops. Again, chain one, V stitch, double crochet, two chains, double crochet, one chain. And keep doing this all around. And I did my last one chain of this round and I want to now slip stitch on top of that first double crochet. Here. And our round five starts again with three chains and now the rest of the double crochets we want to crochet them all together so here for the first petal it's going to be five start the first one keep the la uh, last two loops on hook start the second one keep loops on hook start third Start fourth and start fifth. And now you have six loops on hook, pull through them all at once. And chain two. And between each petal, we need to do three V stitches. So first one goes into that one chain space right here. So double crochet, two chains, and double crochet, and we need to chain two between each V stitch. Second V stitch is going to be in the middle here, in that two chain space. So double crochet one, chain two, double crochet one, in the same space. Again, chain two, do the third V stitch into that one chain space right here. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet, same space, chain two. Next petal, we need to do six double crochets together. So my first one is right here. So I'm going to start this one, then second, keep your last loops on hook, third one, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And now you have seven loops on hook pull through them all at once and now repeat the V stitches chain two first V stitch here chain two second V stitch in the middle chain two Third V stitch in uh, one chain space and chain two. And the third petal again to the six double crochets together. And repeat this all around. And I did my last two chains and I will slip stitch on top of my first petal cluster right here and you 
can see it is quite wavy and curly at this point and it's okay you'll see how it flattens out later on so let's do um, round six start with three chains and now chain two more and then double crochet into the same beginning stitch so this is our first V stitch and chain two and so this round we're going to V stitch in each previous round V stitch one two three and V stitch also on top of each petal and always chain two between each V stitch so here here's the first V stitch And it's always double crochet, two chains, double crochet, chain two between. Here's our second V stitch. Chain two. Here's our third V stitch. Chain two. And again, insert in top of the petal six double crochet cluster and to your V stitch in here. And chain two. So keep repeating this one V stitch here, one in here, one in here and on top of next petal and chain always two between each V stitch and I did my last two chains on round six and I will slip stitch into the third beginning chain here to end this round and next four rounds are going to be exactly the same so rounds seven through ten and the only difference with uh, round six is that we chain three between each V stitch instead of two. So here, first thing, uh, slip stitch into the chain space of the first V stitch to be in the middle of it. Chain three and two more. So total five chains here and double crochet into the first V stitch. And now chain three instead of two, our previous round. And to your V stitch into the next V stitch. And this is still one double crochet, two chains, one double crochet. But now chain three. And again your V stitch. And again three chains between so do this for next four rounds and I will meet you at the end of round 10 and here I finished round 10 you see it's still not quite flat but we're gonna keep uh, crocheting that same pattern and you'll see how it flattens so here are my last three chains. I will um, slip stitch into the third beginning chain to finish this. And again, slip stitch into the first V ch chain space to be in the middle of it. And next two rounds, 11, 12, we're going to repeat this pattern except between each V stitch we need to chain four instead of three. So we start the same, chain five, three, four, five, double crochet into the chain space, and now chain four, two, three, four, to your next V stitch, into the next V stitch. And chain four, two, three, four. Next V stitch, and 
and chain four. Three, four. So this is rounds 11 and 12. And I'll meet you at the end of round 12. And now I did my last four chains to finish round 12. And again, slip stitch into the third beginning chain. Now, round 13, repeat the same pattern, but chain five between each V stitch. And then round 14, we chain six between each V chain. So uh, let's start the same way and slip stitch into the V chain space. Chain five and double crochet in here. And now chain five. Two, three, four, five. Next V stitch. Two. And chain five. Two, three, four. Five. So this is round 13. Also do the round 14 and chain 6 between each V stitch. And then I'll meet you at the end of round 14. Here I'm at the end of round 14. And uh, you see how this doily is a flattening for us. Uh, but still uh, this one definitely needs uh, blocking and stretching so I just got an idea I will make a video tutorial how I block this doily so hopefully this will be helpful and so here are my six chains and I will slip stitch into the third beginning chain and next two rounds, 15, 16, we keep repeating this pattern. Slip stitch into the next V stitch, chain five, four, five, double crochet into the V stitch space. And now chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next V stitch, double crochet, two chains, double crochet, and again chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And do this for two rounds. I'll meet you at the end of round 16. Here I'm at the end of round 16. Here are my last seven chains and we'll slip stitch into the third beginning chain. And next two rounds, 17, 18. And next two rounds, 17 and 18, we'll keep uh, crocheting that same pattern, except we need to chain eight between each V stitch. So slip stitch into the V stitch, chain five, four, five, double crochet into the V chain space, and now chain eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and do your next V stitch. So repeat this pattern for two more rounds, 17 and 18. I will meet you at the end there. So now eight chains between each V stitch. I finished my round 18 and we'll have uh, just two more rounds of the same pattern. So I slip stitched again into the third beginning chain 
round 19 and 20 we do the same except chain 9 between each um, v-stitch so we'll start with slip stitch into the v-chain v-stitch chain 5 four, double crochet and now chain 9 two three four five six seven eight nine and next V stitch and again chain nine so do this for two more rounds 19 and 20 and I finished my round 20 slip stitched into the third beginning chain and round 21st is going to be different so we start again with a slip stitch into the V stitch chain space and then uh, chain 3 and do two double crochets together so start the first one start the second one and when you have three loops on hook pull through them all at once chain six two three four five six and into that same V stitch stitch chain we're gonna do uh, uh, three double crochets together so here I start the first one I don't finish it I start the second keep the loops on hook start the third one and now I have four loops on hook and pull through them all at once and next step is chain eight two three four five six seven and eight and into the next V stitch here, we're going to do the regular V stitch as before. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet. And chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the next V stitch, we're going to do again first three double crochets together. So start the first, start second, start third, four loops and hook, pull through them at once, chain six, two, three, four, five, six, and in the same space, again, do three double crochets together. Start first. Start second, start third, pull through all four loops on hook. And repeat this all around uh, to eight chains, the regular V stitch in here, eight chains, and then three double crochets together, chain six, another three double crochets together, like here. I'm at the end of round 21st. Here are my last eight chains and I will slip stitch in top of the three double crochet cluster here. And to start around 22nd, I will slip stitch into the six chain space. And next I will um, chain three and double crochet twice in that same chain space then chain two again now double crochet three times into that same chain space two three chain two double crochet three more times the same chain space two 
three, chain two, double crochet three into the same space, two, three, chain two, we need to do three more double crochets. So I'm gonna pull them tighter here. So three more, one, two, and three. We need five of these three double crochet parts. So one, two, three, four, five. Next chain five, two, three, four, five, and in the next V stitch, we're gonna do the regular V stitch in here. Double crochet, two chains, double crochet, and chain five, two, three, four, five, and in the next uh, six chain space, we're gonna to the five times three double crochets. And the last five chains are round uh, 20 second. Uh, I will um, slip stitch into the third beginning chain. And uh, we can start here um, around 23rd. So we for that chain th three then double crochet into that next double crochet here and in the next one double crochet twice one and two then chain three and the next double crochet part we have to do in the first one double crochet twice In the middle one crochet once and the third one again twice so this one will have five double crochets again chain three do the same with the next double crochet twice in the first once in the middle one again twice in the third And chain three same with the next double crochet twice in the first once in the second and twice in the third chain three and the last part we need the first and last will have four double crochets, not five. So the first one here, we want to do two double crochets. And then next one. And the last one also one. 
So this one has four, just like the first one has four. And the middle ones have five. And now chain three. And again, do the regular V stitch in here. And chain three. So then you can repeat again this next flower here. So we'll start with one double crochet, one in the next, and twice in the third to have four here. And chain three. And then just repeat. We need five in the second, five in the third, five in the fourth, again four in the last one. Then again chain three to V stitch, chain three and repeat this around. the last three chains of the round 23rd I will connect into a ring with a slip stitch into the third chain beginning chain and we are ready to do round 24th so for that chain three Then double crochet once in each next. So we'll have four here. Chain two. Now double crochet twice in the next.
double crochet once in the next and again once in the next and here we chain three now I'm gonna double crochet into that same space as the last double crochet double crochet once in the next and now twice in the next chain two and again uh, double crochet twice in the next once in the next and once in the next and here chain three and double crochet again in that same space as the last double crochet was double crochet once in the next and now twice in the next Uh, chain two Re repeat this one more time double crochet twice in the next once in the next and once in the next chain three And double crochet in that same space as the last one. Double crochet once in the next, twice in the next. And now chain two. And the last part here, we just double crochet once in each. Two, three, and four. Now chain one and do the V stitch. Chain one. And repeat this whole thing on each flower petal. First you do four double crochets, then you chain two, then double crochet twice in the next, once in the next, once in the next, and chain three. Then again double crochet into that same as the last double crochet once in the next and twice in the next and then you chain two and repeat this and in the last four you just double crochet once in each and i'll meet you at the end of this round And around 25 chain 3 and then double crochet once in each next double crochet here two three four now skip these chains and start double crocheting into the next double crochets right here again four one two three and four now chain three two three and single crochet into the three chain space here chain three more 
and double crochet again one time in each next four double crochet two three and four again skip these uh, chains and double crochet into the next four one two three four chain three one two three single crochet into three chain space chain three again double crochets one two three four skip chains and double crochet into the next four double crochets one two three four chain three single crochet into the three chain space and chain three more and one more time double crochet once in each four and two three four skip these chains and double crochet to the last four double crochets here two three and four and then do a v-stitch in the middle of the v-stitch of previous round don't uh, make any chains and keep uh, doing the double crochets on the next petal so uh, you repeat the same thing do four double crochets skip the chains do four more then chain three single crochet chain three and then do um, double crochets so eight here eight here three more times and again v stitch here without any chains here and to finish round 25 i uh, did my last v stitch and now slip stitch into that third beginning chain here and round 26 again start with three chains and now uh, we need to crochet the rest of these seven double crochets here all together so like before we're gonna start each double crochet so start this one leave last two loops and hook Let's see that's clear start the second third fourth fifth six and seventh And now pull through all these loops on hook, all of them. There. Uh, and next, chain four. One, two, three, four. Single crochet into the three chain space here. Chain four more. Four single crochet into the next three chain space and chain four more four and 
next we're gonna have to do the eight double crochets together all of them so here start the first start your second third fourth fifth six seventh and eighth lots of loops on the hook now and pull through all of them here so that's gonna that's the round to finish our petals again chain four three four single crochet into the three chain space chain four single crochet into the next three chain space and chain four more and this is what we're gonna repeat so we have to do two more of these And when you're done with that last eight double crochets together, then we need to do again three of uh, sorry four chains, four, and uh, single crochet into the V stitch space, and four more chains, and you can start the same eight double crochets together on the next petal and between each eight double crochets you do four chains single crochet four chains single crochet four chains so repeat this all around and I did my last four chains of this round and I will now slip stitch on top of that first eight double crochet cluster to finish this. So this is how it looks now and it's gonna be look much better after blocking. So we have two more rounds to do and for round 27 we first need to slip stitch twice into that first chain space. Uh, I'm actually going to slip stitch into the chain. So 
So one and two. So now we're in the middle of the space and um, now chain six. Six and single crochet into the next chain space chain six four five six again single crochet into the next chain space and that's why we do all this round chain six and single crochet so I'm gonna do a few more here three four five six single crochet One, two, three, four, five, six, single, now for this middle part here again chain six two three four five six and then single crochet into this uh, single crochet stitch of previous round right here and then continue two three four five six and reach over to the next chain space and single crochet here. And now repeat this all around. And my last uh, six chains, I will slip stitch into the beginning here to end this round. And now last round uh, 28 uh, first we need to uh, slip stitch three into those three first chains of the next chain space to get to the middle of this and two and three and from here we're going to chain eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and single crochet into the next chain space. And repeat this seven times. So you'll have seven of these eight chains. So I have now uh, seven, the, seven of these uh, eight chain spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And for this middle part here, next uh, chain three. And in the next chain space here, we need to do uh, three double crochets together. So start the first, start second and start third and then pull through them once and now do the same into the next chain space here three double crochets together so first second third and pull through so they're right next to each other and chain three two three and single crochet into the next space and now repeat this all around chain eight 
seven times around the next petal and then uh, again chain three double crochet three together into the next space double crochet three together into the next space and chain three and when you're done with your last three chains you'll just slip stitch into the beginning point here to finish this round And here I'm all finished with my doily. I blocked it, left it drying overnight, and I think it looks pretty good. It's this one is quite big. It doesn't even fit my whole screen here. So, but um, you can always use a smaller size thread, size 20, and uh, then crochet hook. Uh, 1.5 or even 1.25 millimeters and uh, look out for the written pattern on my website also uh, watch my next video how to block this doily hopefully it's helpful and um, have fun with crocheting this doily thank you for watching